We are built for this network for the strong, not the weak. Michael Jordan, Russell Westbrook, and LeBron James. These are some of the names that get consistently brought up whenever there is a discussion about who is the greatest athlete in NBA history. I'm not talking about their accomplishments as a player or even their skill set, but just about pure athletic ability. Strong arguments can be made for each of these players, but to me, none of their abilities stack up against my candidate for the title of greatest athlete in NBA history. Now to be considered for this title, a player needs to have a combination of impressive traits. He must be fast, he must be strong, he must be quick, he needs to be able to soar through the air with his incredible leaping ability, and finish with remarkable power at the rim. He needs to have athletic abilities that are awe-inspiring to both fans and his teammates. One man embodied these skills more than any other player in NBA history, Wilt Chamberlain. Now before you start to rage and spam the comment section with all your disagreements, let's first take an in-depth look at the man Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt the Stilt is one of the most controversial players in all of NBA history, despite the fact that throughout his career he continuously put up otherworldly numbers. Fans continuously have a difficult time agreeing about anything regarding this man's marvelous career. He's a two-time NBA champion, a four-time league MVP, 13-time NBA All-Star, seven-time All-NBA First Team, seven-time scoring champion, 11-time rebounds leader, and one year he led the NBA in assists just for the heck of it. He averaged 50.4 points per game and 25 rebounds per game in 1962, and he scored 100 points in a single game. Wilt literally holds more NBA records than I have time for in this video. This freak of a man dominated the NBA statistically like no player has in the history of the game. Numerous fans, often of the older generation, still see Wilt Chamberlain as the NBA's greatest player of all time, and yet there is a large number of fans who think that at his best, Wilt Chamberlain would be just an average center in today's NBA. So why is this? Why is it with all of his awards and achievements, spectators, fans, and analysts can't come to an agreeable conclusion on just how great Will Chamberlain was? Well, for one, the NBA in the 1960s and early 70s was very, very different from today's NBA. Many feel that the modern athlete is greater than athletes of generations past. There is definitely some truth to this. With modern technology and training methods, today's general athlete is stronger and faster than his predecessors. I never like this argument though when used against athletes of the past, because even if Wilt Chamberlain played in today's NBA, wouldn't he be able to use the same equipment, supplements, technology, and training methods to further enhance his abilities? Of course he would. If anything, this argument just makes me more impressed with what Wilt was able to do without modern technology. So yeah, I was never a big fan of this argument. And second, what doesn't help Wilt's case and makes him seem more like a myth or a fairy tale legend was the fact that the guy might have been a little bit of a self-promoting exaggerator. Wilt, it's the year 1997. How many points would you average in a game in today's NBA? I honestly think that if I played right now versus my time, I'd have 70, 70 points more. 70 points? As in 7-0? Wow, that's impressive, Wilt. How about your amazing vertical leap? Just how high are you getting off of your jump? I'm getting 50 inches off of the ground on a vertical. I'm getting 50 inches off of the ground on a vertical. 50 inches? So Michael Jordan, Spud Webb, and Vince Carter and their mere 40-inch vertical leaps got nothing on you? Well, that's crazy, Wilt. You know that Michael Jordan guy was pretty good too. How would he have done if he had played in your playing days, Wilt? You think uh, he'd have been crushed is what you're saying? I don't think. I know you've been crushed. <laughs> I see. I imagine you get a lot of ladies being as impressive as you are, Wilt. How many women do you think you've slept with? 20,000. 20,000, right, right. Needless to say, everything that came out of Wilt's mouth had to be taken with a major grain of salt. 
There are other crazy stories that others have said about things Wilt Chamberlain was able to do, but I won't be touching on all of those because honestly, some of those are hard for me to believe. I have a hard time believing that Wilt Chamberlain fought off a mountain lion with his bare hands. I have a hard time believing that Wilt Chamberlain dunked a basketball so hard that he broke the defender's toe with a basketball when it struck his foot. You see, it's easy to see why people in today's day have such a difficult time taking his achievements seriously when it's so hard to take anything Wilt said about himself seriously. But even with all of that being said, and many of those stories aside, I still believe there is an overwhelming amount of evidence that proved that Will Chamberlain was the most incredible athlete in NBA history. The evidence takes us as far back as Wilt stays in high school. In his early years, Wilt wasn't too interested in basketball, claiming it was a game for sissies. His original passion was actually track and field, and in it, he dominated his high school peers. As a 6'11 freshman in high school, Wilt began to display his amazing athletic abilities. He high jumped 6 feet 6 inches. He ran 440 yards in 49 seconds. His shot put was measured at 53 feet 4 inches and he broad jumped 22 feet. For those of you who don't understand track and field measurements, just know that these measurements were incredibly impressive, especially when you consider that they were done by a 6 foot 11 inch high school student. Wilt eventually fully turned to basketball, but not before continuing his track dominance into his college days. As a Kansas Jayhawk, Wilt ran a 40-yard dash in 4.6 seconds. To help put that in perspective, LeBron James ran a 4.6 in 2012, which was the prime of his career. Wilt Chamberlain in college was as fast, if not faster, than a prime LeBron James. Wilt ran a 100-yard dash in 10.9 seconds, shot put at 56 feet, triple jumped over 50 feet, and he even won the high jump in the Big 8 track and field championships three years in a row. Several teammates throughout Wilt's career said that Wilt could jump so high that he was able to grab a quarter off the top of the backboard. All of these athletic abilities Wilt displayed were utterly remarkable. But to do them as a man of his stature, as a 7 foot 1 powerful tower of a specimen is completely unheard of. These incredible accomplishments show the speed, agility, and leaping ability of Chamberlain. But one of the qualities he was most revered for was his power. There are an insane amount of stories concerning the monstrous displays of strength from Wilt. On several different accounts, people said that they witnessed Wilt bench press 500 pounds Although according to Wilt, he could do 600 pounds. Again, take that with a grain of salt. He could deadlift 625 pounds and clean and jerk nearly 400 pounds. Former player and opponent of Wilt, Paul Silas, said this about an interaction with Wilt on the court. All of a sudden, I felt an enormous vice around me. I was 6'7", 235 pounds, and Wilt had picked me up and turned me around and said, we're not going to have any of that stuff. Also, Bob Lanier, a 6 foot 10 inch, 270 pound center who was often burdened with the task of guarding Wilt, was asked in a questionnaire what was his most memorable moment of his entire career. And Lanier said, When Wilt Chamberlain lifted me up and moved me like a coffee cup so he could get into a favorable position. One of Wilt's many nicknames was Goliath, and he certainly lived up to it. His astonishing strength, speed, leaping ability, and quickness alone would be enough to give him the title of greatest NBA athlete to ever live. But he had another quality to even further his legend, and that was his unmatched stamina. In today's modern NBA, players take regular breaks throughout games to sustain themselves and preserve some energy for the moments that matter most. In fact, Many of the league's premier players have been known to take entire nights off to protect their health and preserve themselves for the playoffs. Many often referred to it as load management. This concept would have been laughable to Wilt Chamberlain, who very rarely needed to take any breathers. For example, in the 1962 NBA season, the same season he averaged 50 points and 25 rebounds, Wilt Chamberlain averaged a staggering 48.5 minutes per game. That's an average of more minutes than there are in a standard 48-minute game. This was possible because of the overtime games he played that season that increased his minutes per game. To put Wilt's 48.5 minutes in context, last year, Paul George led the league in minutes per game at 36.9. 
Once in an 80 game season, Wilt played 79 complete games and didn't rest once. He missed only 8 minutes of the 80th game because he had been ejected by the referee. Other than that, he played every single moment of every game that entire season. Frank McGuire, the once head coach of Wilt Chamberlain, was quoted to say, When Wilt came in to join the team, I asked him how long he'd like to play, and Wilt said, forever. I almost fell out of my chair. I said, no, Wilt, in a game. And he said, I don't ever want to come out of a game. And so he didn't. With all of this being said, take a moment to imagine having to guard a player who stood 7 foot 1 inches tall, who had a 7 foot 8 inch wingspan, who had speed like LeBron James, power like Shaquille O'Neal, and the ability to leap through the roof like Russell Westbrook. And, oh yeah, he never went to the bench. It sounds like you might be burdened with guarding Wilt Chamberlain. All of Wilt's accomplishments, stats, and awards solidify his place among the greatest NBA players of all time. As far as who the greatest NBA player of all time is, well, you'll have to check out my GOAT series for that one. This video is about who the greatest NBA athlete is, a combination of athletic abilities like speed, power, and durability lead me to believe that Wilt Chamberlain was without question the greatest athlete in NBA history. It's your boy, D. Greatest from South Central. Tune in on Sunday for Sunday Night Love Jones, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And on Mondays for Monday Night Love Jones, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for good music, good conversation, and good vibes. It's all about the love. Yeah, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us once again. It's all you are listening to Bill for this network. I am H Rap B. This is the End of the Bench podcast hosted by H Rap B. And today, Big Illinois, uh, Joe is in, uh, he's traveling right now. He's leaving Chicago, going back to Houston. Happy birthday to the brother Joe. I want to thank each and every. I think uh, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in today. It's important that you tune in. We got a lot to say, um, as I do every week. I want to remind you: this is a podcast, and what a podcast means is this is on-demand entertainment. You do not have to sit here and listen to each and every minute of the show. You can always come back at a later time by using Spreaker.com, which you currently on, YouTube at uh, Bill for This Network Radio, and Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Deezer, and Podcast Addict, or wherever you download your podcast from. Please subscribe, rate, and leave a comment. Now, with that being said, leave a five-star comment. It was taught to me that I have to that you should respect your ancestors anytime you you are publicly speaking. So I always acknowledge my family living and who have tra- uh, transitioned. So that's everybody in the Whitmore family, the Pollock family, the Turner family, the Battle family, the Cotton family, the Harper family, the Bailey family, the Chris family, Lance Down, Ligon, Duncan, and everybody knows me, my mother, my father, my sisters are the Williams clan. We're in the building. And as you already heard, we got the big homie, Big Illinois, in the building. Family on time. He won't be docked this week, but we'll, we will see how they go. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on, everyone? Happy birthday, Brother Joe. Happy birthday to the good Brother Joe Williams. Made the big three, four. 
It's always good. He's going to be missed, but we definitely 